We're all too familiar with the work-play balance we strive to juggle in the 21st century. It's virtually impossible, right? We're often faced with a long and busy commute to work, using dated public transport or busy highways, only to find ourselves sitting in a dull office all day long. Well, Tencent is about to revolutionize the workplay life of 80,000 people in the city of Shenzhen with a next-century approach. Following Huawei's campus-style city, Chinese technology company Tencent, the driving power behind instant messaging apps WeChat and QQ, has made promises to build an entire mini-city off the banks of the Pearl River in Shenzhen, where the company has its headquarters. Both are located in the Guangdong province of southern China, near the metropolis of Hong Kong. Said to occupy just two square kilometers or three quarters of a square mile, this city within a city is designed to accommodate up to 80,000 people. Similar in shape and size to Midtown Manhattan and built on reclaimed land on the Pearl River estuary, Tencent City, currently unofficially referred to as Net City, is expected to feature not only apartments and offices, but shops, schools, sports facilities, entertainment venues and other public amenities, making it almost self-reliant. Integrated with the rest of Shenzhen City via bridges, ferries and its existing subway system, design partner Jonathan Ward stresses that it's not meant to be an isolated secure island. He envisages Net City attracting thousands of visitors and inspiring the creation of many more mini cities such as this one. Net City, according to design partner Jonathan Ward, will be different to other closed campuses offered by other large tech companies as it aims to be an extension to the existing city, welcoming visitors with its open doors. The American architecture mastermind behind the design, NBBJ, is expected to subcontract the city across multiple architectural firms. Buildings will range from 1 to 30 floors, featuring futuristic and modern yet familiar designs, and flowing terraces to focus the eye on the shoreline and pockets of nature. After all, net cities should be welcoming to the next generation, not frightening. Spokespeople for NBBJ have confirmed that the city will blur the line between personal and professional lives, which will help with workers' time management, giving them more time to enjoy their surroundings. Both companies responsible for making this city a reality hope that the positive effects will far outweigh the negative effects of blurring this boundary, but this is yet to be seen. It will be a vital hub for Shenzhen, providing space for thousands of new jobs and even more occupants on such a limited footprint. Rooftop solar panels and gardens, along with wastewater capturing systems, will help to reduce the carbon footprint of this city and make it one of the greenest spaces in the city of Shenzhen. Just like a smart home, this city will feature smart sensors which will track the city's environmental performance while aiming to create a healthier environment. The designers have even taken into consideration the rising sea levels and have planned to raise Net City to a level that allows it to be future-proof. Mangrove trees serve not only to produce oxygen, but as a natural storm barrier which will break strong winds and waves along its shorelines. Although regular cars will be able to access some parts of the city, dive deeper and you will only see pedestrianised walkways and self-driving vehicles. This green corridor featuring zero and low emission transport such as buses and bikes helps to eliminate unnecessary traffic, making Net City a more calming experience. Both NBBJ and Tencent hope that this spot of tranquility in a city with more than 12 million inhabitants will relax workers and inspire them to dream big and work hard. Providing ample space for exercise, Tencent hopes to boost workers' productivity. Did you know that exercising can boost your motivation to work by over 40% as well as an array of obvious health benefits? Tencent recently completed construction of its new headquarters, Seafront Towers. This 215-metre tall skyscraper features indoor leisure facilities such as a climbing wall and sports courts and is said to hold up to 12,000 people. We are also starting to see other companies present similar offerings across Asia, with Toyota suggesting the transformation of one of its existing sites. This three-quarters of a square kilometre or one-quarter of a square mile site will house 20,000 workers and will be home to hydrogen fuel cell autonomous vehicles, smart home technology and even robots. Huawei's European-themed campus is designed to accommodate 25,000 employees but is larger than many campuses at 3.5 square miles. This is because it will be split into 12 separate areas, each with its own European theme, such as Verona and even Paris. Private trams make up the mini-city's public transport, while replicas of many of Europe's attractions play home to offices and accommodation, including a mock Versailles chateau. Attention to detail is key here, with Budapest's Liberty Bridge forming a crossing over one of the area's waterways. It's said that the coronavirus pandemic has driven more people online, allowing the company's social media and gaming platforms to grow. This financial boost has allowed construction at Net City to start later this year. It will take around seven years to complete and will be carried out in three phases. What do you think of this new campus city? If this is to be the next way of life, would you be happy balancing work and play as Tencent suggests, or is it important that they are distinctly separate?